Hello, I am here today for another episode of Behind the Tweet. This one comes to you courtesy of Lucy. Here's the tweet. Five-year-old, you're a good driver. Me, thanks. Five, starts clapping. She learned sarcasm. So this really happened. Now, the interpretation of her sarcasm leaves some room for debate, but it was definitely a moment she should have been sarcastic. So we were driving in the car with all of us, which doesn't happen all that often. We've got two separate minivans so we can divide and conquer. And also, you know, the more you can separate out the children, the less the odds of them killing each other in transit. It's having some of them survive is always a good thing. But we were coming back from someplace and I braked too hard or took a corner too hard. I did something where you could physically notice the motion of the van. I mean, ideally, if you have a smooth ride, you don't really know you're traveling at all, but I did something where my wife, you know, like grabbed the window dramatically. You don't, you don't need to grab the window. I, I, I get the hint though. Okay, so it was something noticeable. And uh, to my five-year-old, like good driving is exciting driving. So I think she might have been being sincere when she called me a good driver, but I had just done something bad that caused my wife to freak, freak out and think we were going to kill us. And then my five-year-old really did start clapping. Like I, I appreciate. The, uh, the applause. I am a pretty amazing driver. Now, I have been in four accidents, none of them my fault, officially declared somebody else's fault or the deer's fault or the snow's fault. The point is, I'm blameless here. I'm a wonderful driver. My five-year-old kind of sort of appreciates that, even though she gave me a round of applause after I screwed up. So, raises some question marks there. I mean, at that age, when you're a kid, you really, like, a car is kind of a magical transportation vehicle. You just get in it, and you fall asleep, and, like, two hours later, you're where you want to be. That's why I'm looking forward to self-driving cars so much. I just want to get in a car and go to sleep and be someplace else. And also, you know, skip every horrible car ride with my kids. Like, if we have to go to Minneapolis, I would love to just put everybody in the car at, like, 11 p.m., and we just all go to sleep, and we wake up all the way up there. Of course, then you got to take showers and baths and you have morning breath. I mean, there's going to be downsides. And let's face it, I'm kind of gross in all contexts. But if we could do that, then I wouldn't need to get sarcastic applause from my five-year-old. I could get real applause for buckling her in and then successfully pushing the button and taking the nap. And let's be honest, taking a nap is about how much effort I want to put into anything, whether it's raising my kids or driving a minivan. Sleep is always better. Unconscious is always the best option of all. Anyway, this has been another episode of Behind the Tweet. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to put out some kind of video every day. This is four days in a row. Uh, I am on a roll. I am sure very soon people will be begging me to stop, and I completely understand why. Thanks.